Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be doing a $2,200 full gaming setup. And this setup is brought to you by Rocat. They were nice enough to sponsor this video, send over a plethora of their peripherals, and we're gonna be talking more about them and why you should consider Rocat for your next gaming setup. So Rocat makes a lot of different peripherals from mats to keyboards to mice to headphones. And honestly, we have a little bit of everything here. And I'm honestly excited about all this stuff because a lot of it actually is new technology, which you don't see very often with peripherals. So how about we go ahead and talk about this full setup, do kind of a setup tour and show you all this PC, which we've already made a video on and show you why this $2,200 setup should be the one for you. All right, guys, so probably one of the most exciting parts about this whole entire setup is this $1,550 gaming PC. So this features the new Ryzen 5600X, which as many of you have heard, this is supposed to be the absolute beast for gaming compared to what you're actually paying for it. We have the Radeon 6800, which is also a very awesome new AMD card. We have an X570, we have a one terabyte Viper NVMe Gen 4 SSD, we have the Abcon Core case, which has some really nice looking RGB fans, ID cooling, um, 120 millimeter air cooler with some nice RGB that actually is in sync with the case um, to cool our 5600X. We have a Corsair CX550F RGB. So this power supply actually has RGB on the underside, which you can't really see right now. Um, but overall though, this build is, was just super fun to do and it was easy. And these new AMD parts are no joke um, when it comes to gaming. So for editing, gaming, streaming, this PC build and this whole setup will be able to do everything you could possibly want it to do. And if you guys would like to see the actual video on this PC where we did plenty of benchmarks, we actually built the PC and we talked about each individual part, check out the eye in the top right corner of this video if you'd like to see all that. Now let's talk about the peripherals of this setup. First up, this is a monitor that Scepter was nice enough to send over. This is the Scepter C30. This is an ultra wide monitor that comes with a 2560 by 1080 resolution. It is 200 Hertz, which is absolutely awesome for an ultra wide display. And it comes in at a pretty awesome price point. Now this is the first time we're actually doing an ultra wide setup. So it's a little bit different, but if you want to go with a different monitor, Scepter has some a lot of different ones you can go with that are non ultra wide, maybe 1440p high refresh rate. This RX 6800 can definitely handle any resolution you throw at it in pretty much any game you want, but we wanted to see how the ultra wide resolution of 2560 by 1080 would work with this PC setup. Now for the first of the Rocat peripherals, this is the Rocat Burst Pro. This is their gaming mouse that comes with a Titan optical switch and an awesome honeycomb design that makes it really lightweight. One thing I do have to give them props for, this mouse is really light. There's a big trend in with lightweight gaming mice becoming the most popular option. And while this one doesn't have all those crazy holes or anything in it, it does feel very light and is a good option if you're somebody who's looking for a lightweight mouse, but does not sacrifice on the design quality. You have a DPI switch here, you have a nice scroll wheel that's RGB illuminated, and I'm actually very excited to use this mouse when we start gaming. And for the keyboard, this is the Rocat Vulcan TKL Pro. Now, we also got sent over the full-size version, but this is the 10 keyless version. Comes with nice RGB. It has like a chiclet style keycap design. It's very low profile, which is a really cool design compared to some of the other low profile ones that are like a lot closer together. This is actually spaced out like a normal keyboard. So that's pretty cool. It comes with this awesome volume knob to be able to control things on your PC without having to go to the sound manager within Windows. And it comes packed full of red Titan switch which are their linear switch. So basically like a Cherry MX red switch, but it's through their brand. So this is an awesome keyboard, definitely really high end on the RGB and the build quality is definitely worth the price point. So we're also very excited to see how this thing games. Now for the mouse mat, we have the Rocat Sense, which again, guys, if you're interested in picking up any of the stuff in the setup, links in the description down below, there are affiliate links. But this mouse mat is a huge mouse mat that is great to cover pretty much most desks. Uh, it does come with RGB illumination that can be changed with the click of a button, which which is really nice to see. And well, it has a really nice feel to it for the Rocat peripheral, especially this mouse just glides really smoothly on this mouse mat. And it does make a setup look really nice when you have something that covers a majority of your desk. And last but certainly not least, this is the ELO 7.1 Air headset. It is a wireless headset that has some nice padding here. It is 7.1 surround, has some nice controls built into the headset, but really it's just an awesome wireless headset for the money. We're definitely gonna be testing it when we play some games here, but it does come with some RGB illumination which I will turn on right here and you can see in just a second. Look at that. Look at the RGB looking all nice. Basically, the setup is incredibly RGB, as you can tell. Jackson can step back and look at the beautiful creation that we have done here. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited with this setup and I'm very excited to see how this thing performs in the games that we test on this monitor. So how about we not waste any more time and uh, dive right into it? 
All right, so we are now playing Black Ops Cold War. And uh, yeah, we're already getting a really good FPS, but we're playing at the uh, native resolution of this monitor, which keep in mind is over 1080p. So, um, you know, technically if you have a 1080p monitor, this will run better because this is more of a demanding uh, resolution, but we are on high settings overall. We have no frame rate cap. We did turn off ray tracing, but that is something that you can do with these new um, AMD cards as well. But yeah, on this ultra wide monitor, holy crap, the freaking field of view is like intense. I did turn up the field of view slightly too, which really feels slightly unnecessary now. Got that Quake Pro, but yeah, this monitor looks really sick. Like in terms of its size, yeah, it's not like the full 3440 by 1440, but it looks really sharp and that 200 Hertz, you can definitely see how smooth it is. So uh, this is a pretty good combo for a monitor. Yeah, it is extremely smooth, uh, definitely. Much, much smooth respect. But yeah, we already know how well the 6800 and 5600 X pair together. Again, if you want to see that video on some full benchmarks, you can check that out. But uh, this can definitely play at this resolution. It can play at 4K, it can play at many different other reses. Um, this is just a really awesome PC for the money. If you can actually buy it, that's the key issue here. Ooh, big gun. But as you can tell, playing in Call of Duty Cold War, again, it's a great experience. It looks really nice in person. This ultra ride is definitely worth the money. Uh, we're going to let Jackson run out here and see if he can get some more. Oh, hello. Oh, what the oh almost got <laughs> a double kill. Why are they doing that to me? The Chico style keys really don't feel like they, like you would think they might, since they look different, they feel different, but they feel like pretty standard keys. Um, but the style of them just looks really cool. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, I quit. <laughs> All right, so yep, that's uh, that's Miami for you on uh, Cold War, uh, worst map. But other than that, the game's great. So overall, though, it ran really well. Um, you could lower settings too to totally get well over that 200 FPS um, that you need. But hey, high settings though cannot complain about this type of gameplay. Let's play another game. Yay! All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we have everyone's favorite game for tonight. We're gonna to dive into a solo match real quick on pro settings on this beautiful high res, uh, and we're gonna see exactly what kind of performance we can get in our favorite video game. Did I say uh, we love Fortnite? We love Fortnite. All right, guys, we are in a Fortnite on pro settings at this ultra wide resolution. Who needs this many frames in Fortnite? Not many people. Hey, we're dropping in here real quick, and yeah, the frame rate is still staying well over 200. So yeah, you can comfortably say that this monitor will have no problems uh, working well with this PC with its 200 hertz refresh rate. I don't know. Oh, I got him! I think it's the the bot center. Oh, the Doom henchman. But hey, frame rate is well over 300 FPS. As soon as I get out of this craziness, if I survive, I'll try to turn on, oh God, I can't build, oh God. I'll try to turn on higher settings to see what kind of frame we get. But pro settings is what most people are gonna play at if they're really Fortnite gamers. Oh my God. Ah, need, oh no. I didn't mean to do it to him like that. All right, here we go. Let's do Epic. Let's see what it looks like on Epic, guys. I don't know. This just this ain't, this ain't just ain't working that hot. Okay, it's settling in a little bit, but there's definitely a lot of stutter, which is really weird. I don't know if this resolution is just not doing that good or if our computer's having a seizure or what. Uh, but uh, hey, there it is. Yeah, pretty buttery smooth. I like Fortnite, we like Fortnite. Let's try another game real quick. All right, we are now on Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare settings. Uh, we actually do somehow have this over here and we also have this. So, hey, take your pick. They're showing two different FPSs and now right now. Oh, and now it's gone. Okay, don't take your pick. There is a certain one that... Man, I'm scared. Where did you leave me at? <laughs> I, I forgot. I didn't know where to go from here. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, we're getting over 200 <laughs> FPS on Ultra Nightmare. Just don't really. I need to drop down here. Oh, there we go. We're oh getting somewhere, God, boys. Scary. Hey, these are some really awesome numbers for uh, Doom. Ultra wide, I feel like, really suits Doom very well with its fast pace, like shooting, and it looks really cool. It uh, does. This is this is a very pretty game. Yes, we're slowly progressing this game, and I think we're gonna one day beat it, um, so which is kind of fun, that. yeah. That's a reason to subscribe. And also to see Matt and I do some more dual-wielding uh, gameplay. Yeah. Maybe we need to do that on one of the benchmarks. All right, well, yeah, Doom overall, I mean, that, this is extremely playable, and uh, you don't even, you know, normally I'd be like, oh, you could, what is this guy? Normally I'd say like, oh, you could lower settings, we want to run better, but like, it's already running so good on these settings, I wouldn't even lower them, because it just looks so nice. All right, we got to get this next checkpoint, and now this is where Matt or I will likely start off again. All right, guys, we are here in Valorant, the last game we're going to test. And, well, sadly, this is one example 
of a game that does not support ultra wide sad face. As long as I, as far as I know, there might be something we're doing wrong here. But uh, this is the downside of ultra wide monitor. Sometimes you don't get full support, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, you can still definitely play on the monitor, but it just has those black bars on the side and it's kind of annoying. But a majority of newer games do support ultra wide because it is a popular uh, resolution now. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna run around and try to get some kills and uh, just wrap this testing up real quick. I mean, frame rate is definitely not a problem with this PC. We knew that going into this, but um, I, I really like how this plays. This mouse actually glides really nicely on this mouse mat too. I really do like this whole configuration of ROCAP peripherals. Um, it definitely is a good option if you are looking to build a new gaming setup. Yeah, they did a good job with the mouse. It's, you know, it, I don't know if it's supposed to be lightweight, but they didn't have to do the whole cheese wheel whole thing. Like, there's no holes in it, full RGB. Um, and they managed to make it pretty light, which I'm curious how much it actually weighs. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, so the actual box does advertise the weight, which I assume is because they know it's pretty light. So 68 grams, which I'm gonna give you an idea, like the Model D and the MM710, I think are just a little bit over 50 hmm. um, grams. So they're not much far off from that. And like I said, they didn't have to do the holes or anything. So um, obviously if they did do the holes, you'd probably have uh, one of the lightest mice, just like the other ones. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this setup. As someone who's used an ultra wide at home for a while, then recently switched to something else, I mean, I can respect the ultra wide, especially for a gaming setup, and it does make for a really unique gaming experience. Oh, go gamer, go. Um, and uh, yeah, that sounds about it. We're gonna go ahead and yeah, wrap this video up right there. All right, guys, so for $2,200 and only a few hundred of it being for all of these awesome peripherals, including these awesome Realcat ones, this is a really, really good price versus performance setup. I was very happy to be able to do an ultra wide setup. I do like ultra wide monitors. They're pretty cool to game on. And I was very happy with the Rocap peripherals. Yeah, they make some really awesome stuff. If you're looking to make a full gaming setup, streaming setup, whatever it is, you should definitely consider Rocap for your next purchase. Their keyboards, mice, mouse mats, and headsets are also great options and they have a wide range to choose from. So be sure to use the links in the description down below. They are at fill links. They do help us out for absolutely everything in this setup, but especially check out Rocap stuff because they were nice enough to sponsor this video. And also make sure that you're subscribed because we do have some other new part stuff coming out with 6800s, 5600Xs, so pretty poggery stuff. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe one more time. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.